I'm Leah and you're watching Foodies TV. Now, we all love to eat well and travel well, and on our YouTube channel, we will show you the best chefs, restaurants, and dishes from all over the world. We'll help you plan your best vacation. So let's get started. San Francisco attracts more than 17 million people every year, and it is packed with great attractions for every type of traveler. San Francisco is not too big, but thanks to its steep streets, you can try moving between attractions using the most famous method, the cable cars. Our first tip for any traveller, especially if it's your first time visiting a city, is to see the top tourist destinations. Now this means that before you go shopping or visit any of those yummy restaurants, that you start by exploring the city's most important attractions. If you're visiting San Francisco for the first time, then the most famous attraction in town has to be the Golden Gate Bridge, which can be seen from various points of the city, but is probably best seen from the water. There are many cruises that you could hop on that will take you right under the mighty bridge. Another famous attraction is Alcatraz, one of the most infamous prisons in the world. Our tip? The tours to Alcatraz fill up very quickly, so if you want to ensure you get the chance of visiting it during your stay, be sure to pre-book your tickets. If you travel to San Francisco with kids, you'll want to take them to Fisherman's Wharf and Pier 39, which are an entertainment complex packed with restaurants and attractions like the aquarium and the many sea lions that call this place home. Finally, if you visit San Francisco, you have to go to Lombard Street, one of the steepest roads in the city. It is so hard to drive down this street that they decided to limit the top speed to five miles an hour. Our next tip will help you see the city in a brand new light. We think the best thing to do is to take an evening walk or a guided night tour to see the city illuminated. Seeing the city's famous attractions lit up at night is like seeing the city for the first time all over again. Our final tip is for those of you who are passionate about fine dining. We asked Andy Haler, the only man in the world to have eaten in every single three-star Michelin restaurant, to name the best restaurants in San Francisco, which he did. So click that link on the video that will appear at the end. Thanks for watching our video. We hope we've given you some great ideas for your next vacation. Now, if you want to take a break from planning your next trip, then feel free to scroll through our videos on Foodies TV, from some of the most bizarre dishes to some of the best desserts in the world. Subscribe to our channel for weekly updates. See you next time.